I spent one week at Moratoglu Tennis Academy playing tennis, doing strength and conditioning, and having recovery sessions, basically the full experience. And in this video, I'm going to decide whether spending a week at this tennis academy is worth what it costs. I got this week for free thanks to Dunlop Tennis as part of camp. And of course, this video will just be my opinion based on my experiences at the academy. But firstly, how much does a week actually cost? According to my research, a week on average costs around $1,700, which includes accommodation. For that, I could have around 170 cans of tennis balls, 11 tennis rackets, or 30 private lessons with my coach. During the week, I had 10 different tennis sessions, which was two sessions per day from Monday to Friday. I hit with a wide range of players, including the world number 649, Eliakim Koulibaly, he's only 19 years old. We had a 67 shot rally to finish the session, which you saw at the end of last week's video. And I also played with Elsa Jacquemont, who won the French Open Juniors this year and was briefly the world number one. And is now 272 on the WTA rankings. And of course, I played with many other amazing players as well. Overall, I really enjoyed the tennis sessions. The coaches were chilled out, but in a good way, which made the sessions feel more lighthearted and fun whilst maintaining a professional attitude. Oh! Throughout the week, we worked on multiple skills, including point play, drilling, and specific personal points in my game. So there was a good balance overall throughout the sessions. On the strength and conditioning side of things, I had three S&C sessions, and each session was taken by Vashek, this guy, who some of you may already know if you watched my Day in the Life video, is Cameron Norrie's S&C coach. We worked on one main theme each session. Firstly, it was mobility and flexibility, then it was upper body, and finally in the week, we finished with some leg strength. I really enjoyed the S&C sessions, and there was a great atmosphere in the tent with multiple players training in the same environment at the same time, and we always found a way to make it fun. The final part of the experience was the recovery sessions. In these, I would have these boots strapped up to me, which compressed my legs and allowed new blood to flow into them. I also had some ice and heat bath therapy, which was a first, which made it slightly easier for me to recover for the tough sessions the next day. Of course, there was food and accommodation as well. I didn't actually manage to get a lot of footage of that, but the question remains, was all this worth the $1,700 price tag? For me, for a week-long experience, it was totally worth it. I got lots of tips for my game, met loads of awesome people, and felt really inspired after I left. I think as well the fact that I got some special experiences like filming with Patrick and doing photo shoots for Dunlop also made it even more special, but overall, I loved my time there. And on that topic, next week's video is going to be an in-depth vlog of my week, taking you through who I hit with specifically, what we were working on, the fitness testing that I did at Moratoglu, along with many other cool things. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. I spent a lot of time making these last few videos and you guys have clearly been enjoying them. So make sure to smash that like button and turn all notifications on to be notified when that next week's video comes out.